Yeah, obviously it's coming, becoming a reality now, um, getting close to it. But uh, still got a couple tournaments left, and uh, uh, you know, just trying to get my game ready for the next tournament. And I'm not, you know, trying to change uh, big parts of my my game just to get ready for the Masters. Just you know, I'm trying to get better. And um, yeah, so just yeah, just taking day by day. Is that a course you've been studying a lot, just been looking at maps and previous masters to see which holes might be, you know, a bit tricky. I haven't really done much of that. Yeah. You know, the the parts that I've just watched of the masters is just uh, you know, for entertainment mm -hmm. purposes, just to watch it and you know, I think that's pretty sweet. Um, but you know, I've, I I kind of try to keep a pretty relaxed attitude about it. Um, you know, I know that if I just play good golf, you know, there's still just a golf course and we're still just playing golf so if I'm playing good golf that's that shouldn't be a big issue what did the Masters mean to you growing up how what was the television coverage like over there were you able to watch it live or? yeah I, we were we always got to watch it when I was younger but I didn't really watch it a whole lot when I was really young um, the the best memory I have from like really watching the full coverage of it is when Adam Scott won um, against Cabrera in the playoff. That was like maybe one of the first times I really watched, you know, the whole Sunday and uh, big chunks of the Thursday and Friday and Saturday. Um, and I'm sure I watched it before that, but, you know, it wasn't, you know, uh, maybe not as as big as it is over here where, you know, everybody watches it, even non-golfers. So. Well, now that you've been over here, what is it? Is it more meaningful than... You know, as time's gone on, you really got kind of yeah. I, I'd, I'd probably say so, just because you know the, the way people talk about it. Um, you know, back home it's always British Open and St Andrews. That's that's a big thing, um, which it still is over here. But you know, people talk more about the Masters over here, so that's definitely uh, influenced me a little bit. How long have you dreamed of playing in the Masters? Is there a moment you can remember where it really kind of became a goal for you? It sounds bad, but no, not really. Um, you know, I don't really like to set goals like that. I mean, I I do think, wow, playing in the Masters would be pretty sweet, but it hasn't been, you know, I haven't thought about the Masters in front of, for example, the U.S. Open or the British Open or um, the Ryder Cup, for example. I'm just, you know, what motivates me is just, you know, getting better and see myself, okay, I wasn't able to hit this shot, two months ago, but now I'm able to hit the shot. So I kind of go about my business doing that instead of, you know, seeing, seeing tournaments or scenarios.